leaders. So uh, is there any special words for female leaders in health IT who, ex who are aspiring to executive roles? When a position is open, there's been a study that men will apply for it if they meet about 50% of the criteria. Women wait to apply for it until they reach virtually 100%. They want to make sure they can do the job, where I think they may be a little less risk adverse, where males are, I can do this, I've got 50% of the skills. So I think I would counsel them to really look at where you are applying and are there positions that might be a stretch, but you could really sell your ability to go in there and be successful? I think that would be my primary counsel for them. But I think women are doing a better job of, of taking, you know, going to Chime boot camp and getting master's degrees and really deciding where they want to go and how to get there and then doing it. So hopefully they'll continue along that path. Yeah, it's a, I, I'm, I have a coaching client that is uh, a, a female executive in a health tech startup. And it's, and, and she's not at the CEO or CIO level. She's one step below that. And it's, it's been eye opening for me to just hear the stories and to hear what she uh, faces just in terms of, you know, just challenges that I, it's just, I'm just, I might be ignorant of them. I just didn't recognize that they existed. Everything from, you know, essentially being the only woman in a room full of engineers and technicians, which has its own challenges uh, to not being potentially not feeling like they're ready for the next role. I, I mean, I think I've told her like half a dozen times, she's ready for the next role. She's, she's got all the skills. She's got, let's just say it this way. She has as many skills as everybody else who is going to apply for whatever the next role is. And you just have to take that, you have to take that step. And it's confidence. And it's, you know, building your confidence and looking around and saying, yeah, I can do that too. Because I think, you know, again, as I said, I think sometimes women are more reluctant to step up and say what they think and, you know, have that fear of being rejected. But you have to be rejected along the way to get to where you want to be. So just keep plugging away and keep going for those positions. And I think, you know... We're seeing more and more female CIOs. We're seeing more and more female CEOs. So I'm really happy that we're making progress. We still have a lot of progress to make, but we're getting there. Uh, you know